Good evening, I'd like to reconvene City Council meeting right now, 7.04 p.m. Uh, Wednesday, December 14, 2016, roll call. Uh, Council Member Dip, Council Member Ho, Council Member Rice, Member Tim Contreras, and Mayor Tom present. Salute to the flag of the City Attorney, and invitation to be Council Member Tony Dip. Please stand. Thank you so much. I also like to recognize another Orange County Supervisor, Michelle Steele. <laughs> Next, we have special presentation, presentation of a resolution of accommodation to Orange County File 20 by M Engineer Mark Mike Jones and Parliamentary Fire Captain Mitchell. I would like to invite Chief Ken Bruce to the podium to recognize retirees. I'd like to uh, take the opportunity here to invite up uh, Engineer Marty Jones and Captain Doug Mitchell um, and I'd like to give a quick uh, file on them and uh, introduce them to, to the rest of the crowd here. Um, so these two gentlemen, uh, Marty here was hired with the City of Westminster Fire Department in July of 1980 and Doug uh, with the City of Westminster Fire Department in May of 1984. Uh, they proudly served the city for 36 and 30.
Mr. Fire Department transitioned over to the Orange County Fire Authority in 1995. Both these gentlemen stayed with it and still have stayed here working within the city. They love it so much. And uh, they're both going to be retiring uh, in the next week. So we wanted to recognize them for the dedication here to the city. Uh, Marty has been a resident here for over 20 years also, and uh, they will uh, be sorely missed by us and um, are just such stalwart uh, employees and have served you all so well for so many years. So I'd just like to give them both a plaque on behalf of the Orange County Fire Authority to Captain Doug Mitchell.
discharge the duties of mayor. This is the job of the duty of mayor. Upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. Thank you so much for your support. The people of West Minnesota have spoken. I'm so honored and so blessed that I was re-elected to turn this book out of your hands. I want to take this opportunity to thank my parents, my two sisters, my law family, my family, my wife, friends, supporter, elected official, for you all support. Without your support, I would not have an opportunity to continue my passion to serve Westminster community. Two years is very simple. I want to continue to work with my college to bring more businesses, to increase more revenue, to hire more police officers, to patrol our street, and to create more opportunity for the community to get involved with the city. Once again, thank you so much for your support. Councilmember Sergio Contreras, the oath of office administered by Lena Wynn. Uh, I'd like to invite um, my wife and my daughter and son and my mother and father and uh, I think three of my brothers and sisters that are here today. We have a big family, so enjoy the town. Thank you. 
Thank you uh, very, very much. This is a very exciting evening for me. Uh, this marks my fourth uh, term or fourth time I've been elected to office. Uh, first as a school board member and now as a re-elected as a council member. So this is a very exciting evening for me. Um, first and foremost, um, I want to thank uh, the woman in my life who um, makes it possible for me to be of service to the city that I love and uh, my family, and that's my beautiful wife, Adriana, who has been with me. We've been together 18 years. This is be my champion. I want to thank you for all your, your time and energy to make it possible for me to do what I love and to serve my family and my community. So thank you very much for that. Um, I also want to thank uh, my father, the man who taught me the value of hard work, uh, who uh, Sergio Sr., who's here today, please give him a round of applause. My mother, Maria Contreras, who was at the last level of office because she had surgery, but she's here this time live and in person. Please give him a round of applause. There's so many great people I want to thank. Um, I wish I could be here all night, but I know we have another oath of office. But I, I want to take really special one moment to acknowledge a special person that's here with me today. Um, She's been with me for a very long time. Um, her and her um, then good friend um, were really good mentors and, and really managed to, um, I had a lot of great people support me over the years. This person has been a gem in my life. Uh, and Beverly Gonzalez, Gonzalez, who's here today. Thank you, Beverly. Um, who's no longer with us, but I carry him in my heart and every day I do, I think of him. And in this last election, I can't tell you how many times I've thought about Vincent and all the times he's encouraged me and supported me over the years, so thank you very much. Um, and I also want to thank uh, the men and women who protect our city every day, that work hard every day to, while we're asleep or we're at shopping, they're looking out, protecting us. And those are the men and women of the Westminster Police Department who really, really went out of the way to support me this election cycle. I want to thank them for everything they've done. Um, they're here. Thank you. I owe you guys a great deal, and our community owes a great deal for your service and your contribution, so thank you very much. I want to thank you, Westminster, um, for electing me for to serve another term uh, as your city councilman. I am honored beyond words. Uh, many of you know that I grew up in Westminster, and I chose to raise my family here. I have dedicated my life to the city, to making a, a, a better quality of life for all residents. One of those students was here today, and that was Lena Wen, who just did the uh, fantastic job swearing me into office. She is an example of Westminster, well, what Westminster can be. Lena lives here in Westminster, she grew up here. She is a member of, the, of my Junior Ambassador's Leadership Program, and she is the future of Westminster. So please give Lena a round of applause. cardiac surgeon and to be a leader in our field and for a community. She has the face of why we are out here we are out here working hard today. In college I worked with youth on the probation and rehabilitation then um, and the helping them become contributors to our society. After college I was elected to the Westminster School Board where I pushed and created the first all-day kindergarten program in our county and more and more after school programs and activities. Now as a councilman, I want to continue to work hard to make this a better place to live and raise a family. I work hard for Westminster because I see the potential in the city and I see the potential in its youth. From cleaning up our streets to improving parks and safety and attracting new businesses and bringing new officers to protect our, our city, I now, uh, I vow to keep my promise to keep uh, Westminster moving forward and to keep doing more with less, and for, for us all and for our kids. So I want to thank everyone, thank you very much for your trust and support. I look forward to continuing working with you and making Westminster a better place to live. Thank you very much.
Thank you.